I think we found each other like magnets. You know, I mean, we were looking for uh, corporate partners to, to uh, you know, help uh, create awareness around Avatar. You were looking for some way to convey this new vision, this new message of sustainability. Uh, the Avatar film is a widely known brand, and it, it's focused on the, the ideas of sustainability and our connection to nature as human beings and how we have to defend that and how defending it is a good thing. The heroes of the movie are the defenders. So it, it, the more we learned about what each other were trying to do, the more it seemed like a natural fit. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, this partnership, uh, it's all about authenticity. Yeah. And uh, the team that Jim has at Lightstorm has been about pushing technology, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. not taking no for an answer, right. look at that right. next frontier and create yeah. an experience that is second to none. And of yeah. course, that's the core of our purpose principles, yeah. an inner unrest for what's next, our founding I, fathers. I love that. I love the inner unrest idea, because I, I realize, once you say it out loud, I realize not only is that how I feel, but I look around at the people that are attracted to working on an Avatar movie, and that, it's now been a family for over 13 years and will continue probably for another 10 years. You know, everybody has that inner unrest, that need to push the boundaries, to come up with something new, to dazzle. So that was the core. And as Jim said, of course, to fit with sustainability, the whole automotive industry and Mercedes, we're pivoting. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to make sure that we solve the CO2 problem. Exactly. And, and, and that's, uh, if you look at uh, the message behind the entertainment in the Avatar movies, you have that very strong message. So we felt uh, here we got a very good fit. Let's just do it. Oh, yeah. Well, I think, look, here's the result of the, you know, a tangible result of the, the design minds and the futurologist and the and the, the leading edge designers at Mercedes working with with our designers uh, on Avatar, and they've designed a lot of the vehicles and everything for already four films going out many years for me. So now they're itching to do do some new stuff. So they they love this project because they were able to integrate some of the colors, some of the the curvature, the natural organic qualities. You know, a lot of the design philosophy. Uh, and yet made finite, made an actual, an actual vehicle. So it's almost like, it's like a piece of, uh, it's a piece of philosophy made tangible, which is, I think it's really cool. And that aspect is really important. The technology is of course the substance and the core of a future vehicle like this, but the beauty the aesthetics, mm -hmm. it's just as important. Yeah, absolutely. And just looking at some of the renderings that you showed from uh, from the next Avatar movie, yeah. you just look at these pictures and you go, I want to go there. Yeah. It's aspirational. Same, same right. way that when yeah. you look at this car, it's like, I want this. I just want this. But I also think it's, I want to live in a future that, that allows these things to happen. Exactly. I want to live in that future. I don't want to live in some degraded future where the, you know, where the effects of climate change have just disrupted everything. I want to live in that future. So it's aspirational for all of us to do what we have to do. And I think what Mercedes is saying, we don't have to give up everything. We just have to be smarter. We just have to be smarter about how we have the things that we want than we collectively have been. Well, for us as designers, it's a dream come true doing a car that is actually inspired by a sci-fi or fantasy movie like Avatar. And also to pick up on, on the deeper meaning of, of the sustainable message of that, that movie. And therefore, we created something that is super in harmony with nature and actually a thing that merges car and driver into almost a living organism. Well, yeah, I think we are bringing um, two things on a, on a next level. First of all, our design language of sensual purity with that one. Super clean design, uh, very emotional, but very much in harmony with the nature and the environment on one hand. And then from the user interaction concept, um, we are bringing man and machine together. So it's man and machine merge. So actually the next level in user interaction. Again, that thing um, is not a car, it's a living organism. And you actually merge when you enter, enter that car here. And you see that sleek silhouette. Um, and you see the user interaction. And all you do is connect with this element, we call it the merge device, with the vehicle. And 
actually you, you feel it going up and down like like a heartbeat like a like a breathing so actually that thing comes to life and then it wakes up the entire car and when you come around you see that projection here and we are having two scenarios first of all it can bring you through planet earth and we show the beauty of planet earth uh, we show things you normally don't see like magnetism lines and stuff like that and um, and then you can switch on some POIs like that one here is the Avatar Mountains in China um, we have two more POIs and then also you can transform yourself onto the world of Pandora you can actually uh, through um, hand recognition you can choose um, um, a new element here for instance here the Dire Horse um, and now you're in the world of Pandora uh, and you run through the world of Pandora through the um, eyes of the Dire Horse. You can also go on the Banshee Dragon so you will be higher up um, so therefore we merge actually and here's the dragon coming up uh, it's called the Banshee Dragon and uh, now you see you fly through the world of Pandora and so we're actually merging a physical drive with a virtual experience bringing you onto the world of Pandora but also showing the beauty of our planet Earth. And this, this year CES 2020 we show the vision of tomorrow's next big thing, our show car Vision AVTR advanced vehicle transformation and we are very proud uh, uh, of our show car because it shows a glimpse of a new interpretation of a new era of mobility in addition to this the visitor can see our all electric uh, eqc and as well our show car vision eqs The creators of Avatar and us as a brand Mercedes-Benz, we have a lot of values in common. Our pioneering spirit, our innovation and uh, sustainability. And all this comes together in the interpretation of our vision AVTR. So we show a merge of human, machine and nature. And we show this is a, with a new interpretation of how will mobility look like in the future. The uh, interpretation and the inspiration that we got from the partnership with the makers of Avatar and us together is in this merge of human, machine and nature. And how you find this, for example, is if you would sit in the car and if you would put your hand on the control unit, it would recognize you. So it's that the machine comes to you as a human. Uh, and many of these things we, we work already within us in our brand Mercedes-Benz for our customers. For example, everything what we do around our, our MBUX. Uh, so we got a lot of inspiration from the working together with the creators of Avatar. For us, it's very important to understand that our customers, for them, uh, experience a luxury brand as Mercedes-Benz mean ease in interaction and that we understand what the customer wants. And all this we bring to the customer by doing this in the best customer experience 4.0, uh, where we bring all this together. For example, the Mercedes Me ID, the very easy entrance into the world of Mercedes Benz. When you use our cars, you have the MBUX, a very intuitive usage of your car, and many more things to come. So, by working together with the makers of Avatar, we are absolutely inspired to find and look more beyond, uh, beyond the boundaries and find new solutions to interact with our customers. For us 2019 was a very good year, for us, it was the ninth record year in a row and we are very proud that around the globe so many customers are inspired and love our cars and this is as well a huge obligation for us to continue on this path of our success as well for 2020. In this spectacular show car, uh, we call it AVTR, Advanced Vehicle Transformation. It's really a car where man and machine merge. 
And through a control unit, uh, once you touch it, the car feels that you're there. It can feel your pulse, your breathing. It's so intuitive, if you just put out your hand, it gets projected onto your hand what you want to do, and you can control the car from the palm of your hand. So an intuitive experience like we have never seen before. What really uh, unites us uh, is the quest to push the boundaries of technology. Uh, Lightstorm, his company, has always been about, you know, how do you get to the next technological edge of filmmaking, which is what we're trying to do in the car business, the inner unrest for what's next, always pushing beyond, always thinking about uh, what the next great thing is, and letting your energy, your fantasy, uh, your creativity work for you. But that's not the only thing. It's also about sustainability. Uh, that's what the Avatar movie is about. It's a message uh, to bring harmony between man and nature. And that's also what we want to do with our sustainable business model. Make sure that mobility in the future has zero impact on nature. Under the banner of Ambition 2039, uh, we have set ourselves a clear target. In 20 years time, three product life cycles, we want to make our new car fleet carbon neutral. But that's not the only thing that we're talking about here tonight. We're also talking about decoupling the usage of resources from our growth. How can we, through reduction, reuse and recycling, make sure that what we do and the business that we are growing, uh, we use less materials and we have less of an impact on the environment? Uh, that's what uh, the message is about today, tonight. Welcome to Mercedes-Benz at the 2020 CES. The technology is, of course, the substance and the core of a future vehicle like this. But the beauty, the aesthetics, mm -hmm. is just as important. The Avatar film is focused on the, the ideas of sustainability and our connection to nature as human beings and how we have to defend that. I'm a finance guy by training, actually. So I know that resources are always limited, including those of our planet. To preserve nature, many things need to change. And we are determined at Mercedes to take responsibility. The more we learned about what each other were trying to do, the more it seemed like a natural fit. It's all about authenticity. Yeah. The team that Jim has at Lightstorm has been about pushing technology, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. not taking no for an answer, right, look at that right. next frontier and create yeah. an experience that is second to none. And of yeah. course, that's the core of our purpose principles, yeah. an inner unrest for what's next, our founding I, fathers. I love that. I love the inner unrest idea. Mercedes-Benz has always been a technology and a luxury brand, and it is time to bring luxury and sustainability even closer together. Are you ready? For us as designers, it's a dream come true doing a car that is actually inspired by a sci-fi or fantasy movie like Avatar. Created something that is super in harmony with nature and actually a thing that merges car and driver into almost a living organism. With this element, and actually you, you feel it going up and down like, like a heartbeat, like a, like a breathing. So actually that thing comes alive and then it wakes up through the entire car. And so we're actually merging a physical drive with a virtual experience, bringing you onto the world of Pandora but also showing the beauty of our planet Earth. My main thing in life right now is sustainability, and I mean true sustainability. How are we going to do this? What's our future going to look like? And so I think tonight is all about the future. I salute you and your, and your company for the commitment that you've made to that aspirational future. To me, when I look at this car here, I see a beautiful car, and I love cars. And I see so many amazing, innovative things. But I also see the physical manifestation of a philosophy, and that inspires me. We believe that aiming high and thinking ahead 
is paramount uh, in this process, in this transformation we're in. We believe that inspiration and fascination are the most powerful drivers for change and progress. Our way is sustainable modern luxury. Our tools are technology and innovation.